Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. And this time now, we've got Mikumo on the line for another 7 star episode play. So, like I said in my previous video for Shero's 7 star um, brand new play, like I recommended, it is best that you get either one of these 7 star episode plays if you plan to do well for this month's events. Well, mainly because if you have at least one of them and you have friends who are sharing the other one that you're missing, you will still get that very nice bonus boost to your scores and points. So yeah, so let's try and get Mikumo's brand new episode plate, which is probably the sexiest design we've ever seen for Mikumo, considering that, well, it's 2020, Macross Delta came out four years ago, so Mikumo is seven years old this year. <laughs> so, but in anime timeline, she is still a three year old. And that is not right. <laughs> Alright, so let's break down Mikumo's episode plate. Um, as usual, for a seven star, 4,346 total score. Pretty nice, well balanced stats all around. Pay attention to that airplane that's flying by my house right now. Hopefully you guys did not hear that um, loud roaring of its engines. But yeah, so pay attention to the other divas that can use Mikumo's plate because you know you just want to benefit from all the effects that the plate has uh, when you are setting up a team of divas. So yeah, so as usual, if you use a seven star plate on the series that it belongs to, Macross Delta, because Mikumo is from there you get the double S ranking center skill. So of course, you know, that gives you a highest percentage of boost in score, um, you know, or points, stats, whatever they are boosting. So yeah, that's that's one of the things that you probably have to pay attention to when using a seven star plate. All right, so let's move along. As usual, any seven star plate, if it's fully evolved to a seven star form, comes with a double active active skill. So for, uh, for 15 seconds, you get a 100% boost in score uh, and you can activate it twice during a single play of a song. So active, or rather live skill, sorry. <laughs> live skill, just like Cheryl, it comes with a score boosting live skill, but you know, 20%. Might as well not have it there at all. It's kind of pointless. <laughs> but anyways, let's take a look at the last page. Does Mikumo break the chain of 7 stars? Apparently it still follows along. It doesn't come with any special notes attached to it, which is fine. I mean, considering that it's a 7 star episode plate, which is a very powerful thing itself already. So if you guys are Mikumo fans, go ahead, pull this gacha. You definitely want to attain this episode plate. Um, of course, the brand new costume that attaches itself to this plate. You can only get that costume by getting this plate. So there's no other way to get it until, well, the 7 star episode plates uh, get reissued and there is a chance for you to get those plates that just give costume points and nothing else. So yeah, let's do this guys. We're gonna try to attain Mikumo's 7 star episode plate or rather it's 6 star form. Hopefully, you know, considering that I did get Shero's quite easily just from the second pool alone. I do have, well, the remaining stones that I, you know, purchased in the last round. Hopefully enough with these amount of stones. And of course, considering that I should be saving at least 300 stones for the next gacha in the next event itself. Uh, let's try and obtain a copy at least. Well, the main word is try. <laughs> so let's do this. I'm getting pretty nervous. Okay. We get some very slow loads right there. That's kind of a good thing, I suppose. Here we go. Oh, seems the luck is still continuing on. Uh oh. Oh, we got a rainbow box just off the second blink. Okay. So don't forget this is the discounted pool, so it's 10 plates for 300 stones. I wonder how lucky I can be. Oh! Okay, it did not evolve. 
Alright, we got an old clip of Cheryl's. It's fine. At least we got a 5 star. And we still have the red box though. So let's see. Will it evolve? No evolution on the red box. Oh, that's fine. And we got the first generation Maki Maki. Yeah, she's still wearing the old Valkyrie costume that um, she performs in with Claire. So that's pretty nice. Oh, it's a new plate. Huh. I wonder what costume does it have tacked on. Oh! Ray Ray's wedding dress. Okay. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. So it seems like we have to go into the regular template pool at 500 stones. I wonder if the second time is the charm thing <laughs> gonna work here right now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Alright, we get a decent load again. Do we have a surprise load like the last time we did for Cheryl? Apparently not. Okay. A decent animation for Valkyries. Uh oh. Alright, two red boxes on the second blink. I don't think there will be a chance that the red box will actually evolve into the rainbow and rainbow evolve into that super colored one. <laughs> I want a plane flying by today. Huh. Lots of Makina love though. Uh oh, Freya's upset. Oh. Ooh, lots of Maki Ray love today. Alright. Okay, apparently the play for Reina is an old one. Already got it fully evolved. Alright, round 3! I wonder how far I have to go. I mean, I can still afford another 3 more pools, but still. That's a bit uh, excessive. Well, n not excessive as compared to whalers, I suppose. But, you know, they, they live for the excitement of gacha pools. Okay. Oh! Wow! There we go, rainbow box on the first blink. We get two red boxes along. Okay. Oh! We get to see this plate fully evolve. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah, once again, Maki Ray Love coming in strong. Hopefully the rainbow box will be safe to the last, so there's a chance of evolution. But I wonder if it will give us an old six star plate. <laughs> Maybe another copy of Freya. Whoa! What's in the Maki of love? I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah! Cheryl bringing in the love. Whoa! <laughs> wow! I did not expect to get both seven stars or rather six stars for this month oh man that that really puts it down to me just left with makina six star plate to obtain and i would have all of them oh dang oh that that would be cool if i actually obtain makina's plate soon somehow i don't know maybe in the future gacha pools then I'll be able to create a decor room with all the plushies that comes with the 7 star plates. Oh, that would be so cool. So, <laughs> okay, you guys get to see me unlock Mikumo's costume once more. Uh, well, I mean, for the first time. I mean, you've seen Cheryl's unlock, so now you're gonna see Mikumo's. I'm blabbering, I'm just excited. I am... I, I'm kind of in a rush. I'm, I'm actually doing this video right before work, so <laughs> I need to head out straight away. So you guys won't see this video until I get back from work. So uh, that's kind of a bummer, but I mean, I, I have to retain my excitement till after work to talk to you guys about what I can show you, especially the video with Mikumo performing in her brand new costume. So here we go, fully powering up the episode plate and of course unlocking the costume at the same time along with the fully voiced episode story. Very nice. Alright, collecting all the resources that comes with unlocking the costume. There we 
goat and the doll. Here we go. Alright, so there we have it. We have Mikumo's crossover um, elusive. Yeah, that's that's the name of the costume. So very elusive indeed. It's just basically lingerie. I mean <laughs> Would you actually consider this a costume? I mean, if if you consider it as maybe like a Las Vegas performance costume, you know, with the peacock feathers behind it, we've seen all those in TV shows and movies. I think that's where Risa Ebata got her inspiration from. So, um, apologize if I got the artist wrong. I mean, there are three different artists for, you know, the key arts for Macross Crossover Live. I can't remember which one this is belongs to so I think it's Risa and Bapa but yeah so I think she got her inspiration from there so with all the birds uh, for each Eva and of course Basara um, you know for each of the costumes itself yeah so that's why we have the peacock with Mikumo's costume so that's pretty fantastic you know aside from that it being the, the most sexy <laughs> costume that Mikumo has ever worn before but yeah you know we thought that Cheryl Gnomes was bad, but Mikumos is worse <laughs> in terms. But you know, some people, some people are happy about it. Uh, I, I'm okay with it, but I'm, I'm still not too sure about having a three-year-old wear something like this. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me in another um, gacha video. If you guys um, got lucky yourself, let me know in the comments down below. Um, like this video if you appreciate all the hints, tips, and you know comparisons of all the episode plates. And if you guys enjoyed watching me will once again <laughs> and pulling out another six star episode plate. Um, yeah, <laughs> do the usual stuff that you always do. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, should you click the subscribe button and ring the bell notification icon so you can follow whatever I update on YouTube itself. I might get into more new content soon because, well, I've got to clear my annual leave. So, might as well get productive. <laughs> Until then, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!